There's an old saying that funeral shrouds never have pockets. It's another way of saying you can't take it with you. And that really is the basic lesson from the gospel story that we just heard. This rich farmer who has a bumper crop has way too much in his grain that he can store in his barn. So he has this plan that he's going to build a bigger barn and, and all the rest of it. Part of the man's problem was that he was ignoring a Jewish stipulation that said when you have extra, when you, ha when you have bounty, you're supposed to share the extra with those who have less or even those who have none. He was storing it up for himself. And that's one of the reasons why he was condemned for being so greedy. I may have told you the story before that about the Aesop fable about a dog who steals a piece of meat from the butcher. And he's running home and he goes over a stream. There's a plank over the stream. And he stops and looks down and sees the picture of a dog with an even bigger piece of meat. So he figures, I know what I'll do. I'll take that piece of meat as well. So he opens his jaws. The piece of meat falls into the water. And then he realizes that he has no meat whatsoever, and nor does the dog, whose reflection he was seeing, his own, uh, have any meat as well. Sometimes there's a lot of that dog in all of us. While we have a lot, we want more. We're not really satisfied and, and greed and the desire for things can at times rule our lives. But we can change. We can modify our behavior. The story is told that in 1888 Alfred Nobel read his own obituary in the newspaper. Alfred was alive and well. His brother had died. And a reporter mistakenly pulled out of the file Alfred's obit and it ran in the paper. And Alfred was mortified that what they emphasized in his obituary what he, that he invented dynamite, which he had done, and that it had been the cause of much destruction of people's lives, especially in wartime. Nobel was shocked that that would be his legacy because he thought his invention of dynamite could be used for peaceful purposes. But he changed after that and he began to put in motion uh, this fund which would give away prizes every year for achievements in different areas of life and at the apex was the Nobel Peace Prize which we still have to this day. So now when you think of Nobel, you might think of peace rather than dynamite. If we only could learn the lesson that Nobel learned uh, so that we might see from what perspective we have in life, especially over the things that kind of possess us. What we do with the times that we spend with our hobbies or in unimportant projects that might consume our lives. If we could only learn to build up things that please the Lord as the, the gospel ends, that we would have respect for ourselves, respect and care for the other. That would be something that we could spend time on. Unlike the man of the gospel, I hope that none of our lives will be called for tonight. But some night, some day, uh, it'll, it'll happen. And the f old saying goes that the, really the only thing you can take away are the things that you gave away.